Welcome to this new series of practice questions for the CWI Fundamentals Examination, also known as CWI Exam Part A. I will be discussing 5 random CWI Fundamentals questions and explaining the rationale of all the choices, even the wrong ones, so that when you take the exam, you will have the mindset and the right concepts equipped, giving you a high chance of passing the CWI exam. Without further ado, let's get started. Dwell time is a term associated with which NDA method? Letter A, MT. Letter B, PT. Letter C, RT. Letter D, ET. Letter E, UT. Dwell time is closely associated with penetrant testing. Dwell time by definition is the total time that the penetrant or emulsifier is in contact with the test surface, including the time required for application and the drain time. This is not applicable for any other tests mentioned in the choices. Hence, the answer here is letter B, PT. The material property expressed in terms of an endurance limit is letter A, fatigue strength, letter B, toughness, letter C, tensile strength, letter D, ductility, letter E, hardness. The property that is expressed in terms of endurance limit is the fatigue strength. For the mechanical engineers out there, if you can remember the Goodman and Soderberg equation, the endurance limit of the material is synonymous with the fatigue strength. Looking at the other choices, toughness is the resistance of a material against impact, tensile strength is the capacity of the material against a given load, ductility is the property of material to yield against a load without breaking, and finally, hardness is the resistance of a material against indentation. Hence, the answer here is letter A, fatigue strength. The welding inspector is usually not responsible for which of the following. Letter A, checking for proper electrode storage. Letter B, verification of a welder's qualification. C, witnessing all repairs. D, in re-inspecting repairs. E, checking fit up. Welding inspector is usually not responsible for witnessing every repairs, but is responsible for checking if the repair is satisfactory. Many standards such as API 1104 specifies acceptance criteria for weld repairs and as such, the welding inspector needs to witness and inspect them. Checking for proper electrode storage is essential since these electrodes have a manufacturer prescribed storage parameters that is needed to be followed, such as storage temperature to eliminate moisture. Moisture in the electrode can cause porosity. Verification of welder's qualification and creation of WPQR or welder qualification record is a responsibility of a welding inspector, as he should determine whether a welder passed a certain code such as ASME 9, AWSD 11. Letter D is what I mentioned regarding reinspection of repairs, wherein the inspector must check if the weld repair has satisfactory results. Checking fit up prior starting a route pass is a common hold point that the inspector usually does to, ans to accomplish the inspection and test plan. Hence, the answer here is letter C, witnessing all repairs. It is not common for the welding inspector to be responsible for in witnessing all the repairs done. The last digit of a SMAW electrode designation is an indication of A. Tensile strength of the weld deposit B. Position of the welder to qualify the weld in C. Operating characteristics D. Impact strength of the weld deposit E. Position suitable for electrode use The last digit of a SMAW electrode denotes the operating characteristics of an electrode. It denotes the type of current the arc characteristics and penetration, the type of covering and slag, and percentage of iron powder used. It also denotes if the electrode is low hydrogen type or not. Ending with 5, 6, and 8 denotes low hydrogen electrodes. Hence, the answer here is letter C, operating characteristics. For SMAW electrode designation E60X3, the X refers to a. Tensile strength of the weld deposit B. Position in which the weld Position in which the electrode can be used C. Type of coating D. Recommended type of current E. Flux chemistry In this question, the X denotes the position in which the electrode can be used. 
The position in which these electrodes can be used also depends on its operating characteristics. High deposition electrode cannot be done on an overhead position since a lot of molten metal will fall to the welder and this is denoted by digit 2. One denotes that the electrode can be used for all position. Digit 3 is no longer used as a designation so if you see that, it is an old designation. 4 denotes welding in a downhill progression. Here, hence the answer here is letter B. The X here denotes the position in which the welding electrode can be used. If you have questions, do not forget to comment down below and also like this video as it will help the algorithm find like-minded viewers like you who are looking guides for the CWI exam. And if you want more of these kinds of videos, I have tutorials on CWI practice questions, writing welding documents, and many more. Click this playlist right here. Do not forget to subscribe and turn in the notification bell for the latest videos. See you on the next one.